What's up, everybody? Welcome to Kenya Online Media. My name is Eve Nyaga, and this is your number one source of entertainment news. As you all know, you know Peter Miracle Baby has been struggling with his health. Now, I'm going to michango hapa na pale, hapa na pale, and there have been allegations that he pesa haimfiki vizuri. Now, there is this recent recent visit that KRG the Don um, walienda kum visit together with you know the Honorable Jaguar, and they are still saying that he pesa kuna vile hijawa saidia fully. So now we are here to talk to KRG the Don. Atwambie ukweli ni nini? Did the did the money actually help them? Ama what is going on? Let's take a look. Kwa majina naitwa Boga, aka KRG the Don, aka msani wa president. So um kuna mambo imetifikia uh, nimeona mitandaoni ambayo Sijui ni anza ni kwa kushikitika ama ni anza kwa kulia ama ni anza kwa kusema na mna gani. Kwa sababu ni mambo ambayo hayaridhishi nafsi. Kwa sababu mimi sipendi mtu ambaye anataka ku, kuongea uongo ili kuharibia watu wengine majina mitandaoni au kusema kitu ambaye haifai. Uh, hii ishu ya Mirako Baby ni ishu ambayo najua mwanzo mpaka mwisho mahali mefika. Na imenipata kwa surprise kubwa sana kuona ka true na Miracle Baby wamefanya vitu ambavyo wanafanya sasa hivi kwa sababu in the beginning uh, i think nyinyi ni watu ambao hamjui hata kusema shukrani na kulingana na vile ninaona mnafanya kweli ile msemo ya, kiswa, ya, ya Kiswahili nasema asanti ya punda ni mateke hivyo ndo unaona hii kitu iko kwa sababu Sasa hizi mnatengeneza picha ambayo inakuja kukuwa ni kama rais wetu anaongea uongo ama alifanya kitu ambacho hakifai wakati sisi mheshimiwa Jagua na mimi tulina tukaomba msaada kwa rais kitu ambacho hata rais hakuwa aware of and uh, he does not even know who Miracle Baby was ilikuwa kazi ngumu sana kumuelemisha kwanza huu ni nani mind you the president is not just uh, someone mwenye ako idol rais ni rais wa inchi kuna watu over 40 million wanategemea rais na wote wako na shida zao separately so kwa hiyo kumconvince aache shughuli za hao watu wote asikilize mtu mmoja is not a small thing vile watu wanafikiria kuona hata rais sisi ambao hata tunaweza pata chance ina kuchukua hata zaidi ya mwezi miezi miwili kupata ta appointment. Kwa hiyo ukipata na chance ya kukutana naye hata 2 minutes na hujamwombe shida zako zote na akwambia tatuliwa. It's a process. Kwa hiyo Rako baby what I can tell you I think watu ambao wanakuguide saa hii wanakupotosha kwa sababu you got a golden chance wewe kuenda ta hospital. But uh, what you guys are doing you are doing wrong. Na mimi nataka niwaeleweshe hapa kwa sababu I am not here to to prove myself at Nico right ama mheshimiwa Jagwa yuko right kwa sababu you are wrong kitu ya kwanza you people are very ungrateful that is one thing i can tell you you are very ungrateful sisi tunajua uko na shida na hata ukikuwa na shida pale mtu anaambia ngo shida yako tatatuliwa style fulani you are supposed to accept the reality of the matter that kwamba you are not special nobody is special in this world so when you are put somewhere and you know you are going to get help receive the help na uri appreciate Mheshimiwa Jagu alikutetea sana Paleta mimi sikukua Mimi nilikuwa hata niko shughuli zangu zingine nikapigiwa simu akaniambia ile maneno tulikuwa kwa tumepanga imetimia tumepewa hapa laki tatu twende tupelekee Mirako Baby laki tatu ambao nasikia wanasema tulipewa pesa nyingi zaidi ya hiyo lakini nataka niwahakikishia kwamba ile pesa ilitolewa ilikuwa laki tatu Rais ni shahidi wetu ile pesa alitoa ilifika kwa mikono ya wale watu tulikuwa tunafaa kupatia baada ya hapo tukaambiwa vile tukayepatiwa maelekezo vile tutaenda tupate msaada Kenyatta National Hospital Mimi na mheshimiwa Jagwa tuliwacha shughuli zetu zote mind you kila mtu hapa Nairobi yuko na shughuli zake kila mtu yuko na biashara zake kila mtu yuko na familia yake Ukiona mtu amewacha hata shughuli zake for 5 minutes amekuja kukuattend respect that person Mimi nilikuja kwenu tukakuconvince wewe 
paka tukaenda hospitalini tukapatua VIP treatment from the beginning paka mwisho Kinyata National Hospital is a big hospital it has more than i don't know 5000 patients when they were in critical conditions hakuna hata nafasi before pata nafasi you can wait for even a week or two the boy got services in less than one hour kufika hospitalini alikuwa ameshapatiwa kila kitu hakupandishwa matatu alipanda ambulance kutoka kwa nyumba yake paka hospitali hakuna pale nisimama kwa traffic even one minute hiyo yote ni coordination yenye sisi tulipanga hakuna hata sumuni aliitishwa tuka make sure amefika kwa hospitali yeye anataka kupatua the VIP room ile iko na paka choo haipatikani zimejaa zote zimebukiwa na watu ambao ni wagonjwa wana wako in critical condition hata wawezi ongea wako kwa H nito nini HD HD na ICU ha sisi tukamtafuta tukampigania paka kapata room pahali hakuna mtu anamsumbua tukampatia room iko na view ya kuona town na spate stress eh na tuka make sure yuko salama na wakaridhika tukiwa hapo na nikajua na hata tukitoka hapo na mheshimiwa jago aliniambia huyu kijana atatoka kwa hiyo hotel hospitali hebu kupata muda urudi na mimi nikamwambia mimi niko na safari zangu wewe unajua kama si heshi ma rais mimi singe kuja hivi tu mimi ni mtu wa biashara sisi zetu za biashara zangu nene nikafanya hii mambo kwa sababu wasanii ni watu very ungrateful na wasanii wakielelea hivi watakuwa wanaumia si tunawaangalia tu kwa sababu ya nini Tell me one of your friends mwenye alikusimamia hata for five minutes none of them came ilichukua watu wachatu tu waje tulisema acha si tuende tujinyime sisi my friend tulikusaidia wewe wewe unajua hata tulikuja na gari zilotoka wapi mafuta mimi gari yangu range rover yangu niliwacha huko hata bodyguard wangu nilimwambia ka huko mimi naenda biashara ya rais nitakuja baadaye umeelewa tukawacha gari yangu huko kwa jambo asubuhi nilikaa kwa jam for more than two hours nikaenda asubuhi tukiarakisha tumalize hii maneno jambo akaniambia wacha gari hapa to to rush ingia kwa hivi gari ya serikali tukimbi tukakimbia tukafanya kila kitu eh sisi wewe unajua sisi kutembea peke yake town unajua inatugaribu pesa ngapi wale vijana wakituona pale town lazima wawache kitu ya macho how much do we spend from our pocket kuja mazisha tu kelele hawa vijana watuliokuta hapo nje hospitali it is chaos to move someone like me or jago it is chaos it's not easy but we will tuliji sacrifice tukaenda tukafanya but mume amo kutulipa na kutuaibisha tunasema asante sana gayaro mukani nywe gayaro mukania utidia gogo nyinyi mnataka luxury na najua pahali problem yenu yote iko the moment you noticed kenyans are giving you free money nao mnaona umepoa laki tatu mjipange mimi ningekuwa mimi buga niko na tabu kama hiyo Siwezi toka hiyo hospitali. Umeniambia nitibiwe mpaka ile siku natembea. Chakula napewa bure. Hospitali nimepewa private room. Ni kwenda tu cho pale. Hapa mimi naenda. Hata mnitendee kwa wilcha. Unanipeleka cho mimi narudi. Because the, you have been guaranteed by the hospital management anything you want. You have specific people to call. Uko na namba zao you are given VIP treatment. You have to listen to them because their expertise. Hawa ndio wataalamu hii maneno wanabomoa mwili ya mtu kama gari wanarudisha tena lazima uwasikize wewe unataka luxury unataka kwa, kwa nyumba yako na unyang'anya wa Kenya pesa that is not the way to go when you get help president nyinyi mnataka president akuwa na watumia mpesa kila siku wewe una gani president ana dai ako na watu wangapi ana deal na wao kwa one day ni wengi sasa hizi hata sijua hata ako wapi na rais wangu sijua hata ako wapi mi niko hapa na kwa biashara zangu do you know how much it is in this country mtu kuacha shughuli zake kwenda kwa tende za mtu mwingine because everybody yako na bills to pay mimi hata niko na nyumba zangu zingine zimekatwa stima na hata i don't care because hata watu wenye naishi huko hata wanisaidia wananisumbua kichwa nimeambia hata watu wa Kenya pao kwenda ngoa stima ndio hao watu kutoka kwa manyumba wanaona tu tv na ubea <laughs> people are lazy please let us not be lazy when you are given help can you pass yani nyinyi kitu imewashinda ni kuvumilia kukaa hospitali hizi mapipe hizi vitu mnasema eti mnanunua kila siku ziko pale hospitali for free for for free kitu tu inawashinda nyinyi mnataka raha na sisi tuliambiwa viti na ngapi oh pita alikuwa amekunywa pombe nina nini we ignored all those we went back to humanity 
tukasema hatutaki kusikiza umbea ya watu huyu ni ndugu yetu ni msanii yuko na tabu tutasikiza alifanya nini nikamfikisha hapa tutaangalia solution long term solution long term solution ya huyu kijana ni very simple ka hospitali pata treatment ukitoka kwa hiyo hospitali kwa sababu ni president ametoa order si utoke ukitembea na mguu yako una dance kabisa we urudi studio utoe muziki na mimi hata nimeshi hata ujui ile mambo tulikuwa tumekupangia mimi hapa nilikuambia tukio hospitali i will talk to my friends i have friends that have different companies they produce different products for houses nitawaongelesha watakupata hata shopping ya six months but you have to be okay sasa tunataka kutoka hospitali uende nyumbani ukalipe rent pesa ya rent tulikupa na matumizi ya watoto ni mama tu ungemwambia nenda nyumbani wacha mimi nikae hapa hospitali you come visit me these hours you are you, in your house i saw you have a mother your wife and somebody you can even dedicate maybe your brother mnafanya intervals so that you can true aende afanye kazi zingine but nyinyi mnataka tu kudanganya watu kwa mitandao that is not the way to go you are so wrong both of you are wrong na naomba sana pate hekima ya kusurvive kwa hii dunia because when young people go wrong it hurts me so much kujua kwamba mkurudi tata kwetu hata waja hii nipigie mimi simu kuniuliza KRT what should i do ama jagwa what should i do because now i feel like going back home tuambie no don't go back home what do you need you need this and that i will call this can you provide this kind of services mnataka kuja ku embarrass president hakuwasaidia huyu president mwenye kila mtu kwa hii dunia anamuona tu ni mbaya you have to trust your president my guys hmm? nani kama mtu kama wewe uwezi kuheshimu rais utaheshimu nani mtu amekutolea order kwamba ka hospitali mpaka ile siku utapona hiyo bill mimi nimechukua nikaweka kwa msamu wewe unatoka hapa mimi siwezi toka hata siwezi enda saa hata choo mimi sitaki nitawaambia mlete choo hapa kama mnaweza paka nitoke hapa nikiwa yani hii tumbo yangu hiyo surgery mnasema itakaa 3 weeks si nimeumia hapo more than 1 month 3 weeks mimi nakata na smile to June kwa sure i don't have stress i am just buying time chakula watu wangu wamelipwa wanakula problem ya hao watu wanataka cash flow acha waona wa Kenya ni ATM Kenyans don't be fooled by everyone who is coming to you to take money because you will be mtakuwa mnaendesha kama baiskeli kwa mteremko mimi mimi mtu hizi niendesha kwa hii dunia you have to be very wise you have to be very wise iko very simple nyinyi mnataka kutumiwa pesa kwa sababu mshajua mtakuwa mnasema hii kitu nataka 30000 40000 mtatumiwa 50 mnaweka ingine kando mtatumiwa mna buy time at the ile siku ya saja ni murudi hospitali wewe uwezi kuvumilia ukaa hapa pale vitu ni bure okay i'm going to see nyinyi ndio mnataka wa Kenya wachukue wachukie rais na wakenya wawezi kuchukia rais kwa sababu mtu kama mimi niko na mdomo na mtaongea mtaongea ukweli kila mtu aumwe kwa sababu mimi i don't talk lies i will never speak lies i am a honest man watu wenye tulikuwa nao hiyo siku watasema ushaidi wote nyenye ilikuwa kwa hivyo mimi i am so disappointed ile kitu naweza kuambia kwa sababu nyinyi mnajua ile lugha na wasema gayaro mukanya kohena nagia hiyo tu ile kitu naweza sema tukatie maneno hapo sitaki mambo mengine mingi mimi niko kazini hapa hii ni ofisi ya kufanya kazi kuna wateja wanataka kununua vitu nyenye tunauza hapa nje magari na wengine wanataka kusafishiwa na wengine wanataka kufanya biashara mingi shukurani sana lakini kama asante yapunda ni mateke mateke yenu tumeipokea tutaendelea kupambana kwa wale pilipili na ndimu lakini msiwache kile kitu naweza waomba tu muache kuchonganisha wa Kenya na serikali wache kuchanganisha wa Kenya na viongozi wao kama wewe umeamua kuwa mtu binafsi hypocrite and money minded human beings trust me there is no way you are going You need to stop that. Na hiyo poverty mentality na waaffect kwa kichwa. You need to stop it. You should seek for guidance from people who are elders na watu wako na wisdom. Thank you very much. Okay, so KMG. Don't you think it's a bit depressing? Yeah. Kuka kwa hospitali that low ukijua. Um naweza toka for short while yes. and then ni root. Don't you think it's depressing by the way? Cuz hata nakumbuka kuna interview Karol kwa nafanya akasema awali ambao ana daktari healing starts from the mind. Exactly. The moment you believe that una heal, yes. you will heal. Exactly. So people go there kwa that was their working strategy. But why would you tell Kenyans to changa? If it's your strategy, 
why would you tell why would you go back to Kenya and tell them that I want money from you guys because I want to adjust my mind that healing starts from my head why would you charge Kenyans to heal your mind so if it's a, if it's your strategy to heal why would you charge Kenyans to heal your mind because you have your mind in your head what you need is just to believe even from the hospital from your bed okay let me ask you one question if something happens at night and you are believing from your house and now you need this doctor. What will happen? Answer me that. Then you come back and say, we lied to you. So we took it to the hospital knowing exactly what is supposed to happen. Are you the only person who is in the hospital? In the hospital, there are people who are, uh, whose brains are Arabica. Kuna watu lungs zime fail. Let me tell you, you, you think you are special. But the only place that heals sick people is the hospital. You have people you can talk to. Do you know that there are counselors who, come, who can come to the hospital? They can counsel you from the hospital bed. Why didn't you ask for such services? Because you have been catered for by the president. Unaizaitisha hata mutu ya kukufanya masaj ukikuwa hapo. Utawewa kwa bila rais. Mimi ningekuwa naitisha vitu za ajabu. Sasa ndi mgekuwa ni meitisha matunda. Nikisikia si teremuki na asema mutu ya masaj. Na hata na asema hata maali si umu na umu. Kwa sababu hii bili yote inebebo na mutu uyu. Mwazo. At the same to last minute, how much was it? Can you allocate that to this and that? Here, they say, it will disappear. One, one say, like in the way the family was beginning, it will find your end. Okay, so for you, Paka is surgery, Paka will heal, Paka kill a kid, they were companion. I love for you, Maravadian. Nah, you're the power, rice. One of them raising him to the dog. Rice in the rice, boy. Paka moko up the rice. Let me tell you, I'm going to I will give you facts until you respect what is the president. Yeah. So this is a yes or no question. Yes. Do you think, like, in short, any um, wow, they're just comfortable na kuchangiwa pesa. How kufanya? Exactly. We on our Kenyan ATM yao. Because we on our Kenya, they have sympathy. Anyone who comes to say dear mutu kabla because that's what they are doing right now. To say dear uyu kabla Iko mutu wanaendelesa hii uongo Ati tujisaidia Unajisaidia vipi? Kwe nwe ni kiwete? Kwewe ni kiwete? Kwe ufanyagi kazi? Hile pesa ulikuwa lipo sa hile mapema Ukikunyu wa changa na kuzuka na wachana Na kufanya vitu Hile unheard of Hii town Wakati ulikuwa na pesa Wa ulikuwa na changia nani? No Let us speak facts Kwa sababu mimi buga na changia nga watu wengi And I don't judge Because I do it From my heart Kwa sababu mimi mungu wa menibariki Kwa style nye njini ya mwezi elewa Wewe kwa sababu wewe Unikuwa kwa na pesa yako Nionesha mwenye mutu wewe ulisaidia Hakuna Wewe zitanonesha watu kumi umuwa isaidia But sisi tunajinyima sisi Mimi yata mimi niko na tabu zangu I have my personal problems Mimi yata niko Iko watu na wanafanya kazi Kwa kampuni zangu zingine Sija walipa mshara Lakini naeza njima hiyo watu na mbewe Ah, uko njimu mezo ya kukula. Iko hii mboja anataka kufasa hii wacha tusaidia uyu. And they will understand me because they know me. I, none of my people anatesekanda. Because they know how my principles ziko. I can, mundeza cheleweshu wa kidogo. Tusaidia hii mboja anataka kufa. Arudi sawa. Alafu nye mutaidila na maisha ye. Eh? Kwa hivyo sometime. Watu wanafawa wangalia mbani sana. Kwa maisha hii tuko. Hii maisha. Into rough terrains. You have to know how to navigate them. Umenelewa? Mm. Kwa hivyo wewe usipo tumia wisdom. Unataka ku, kufanya hii maneno vile unataka. Mm. Utaangaika hii town. Unataka kuangaika hii Nairobi. Watu wate wakikuangalia hivi. Kwa sababu ya nini? You are very ungrateful. And me I am not in that caliber ya kuongea uongo. I will not speak lies. If somebody wants advice. Call my number. I will give you true and straight advice. Free advice. Yes. Patu sinipike sayo na mini kwa kakazi. Wewe mbaje sayo na mini kwa free advice. Mimi na tafuta pesa kwa sababu hii pesa ikiisha nyinyi mtatuaibisha muta sana nyinyi. <laughs> eh. Mm. Mekasirika, you know, mekasirika na feel disappointed yes. by you know kind of a true and a thing. Yes. Cuz we believe and we pray that he gets better. Yes. Are that is my know? wish. Uh-huh. My wish. Peter is my personal friend. I love the boy. The way I love my life. You get? Problem at see Peter because Peter is a victim here. Ka true needs to know what is life. You are a woman and you have st- decided to stick with your husband, but you need to stop thinking this is business. 
This is not business. This is not business. This is someone's life on the line. This is not business. Fikiria vile huyu bwana yako atarudi kwa mguu, aende akutafutie pesa kwa sababu anajua kazi yake. And I know mimi niliwaambia come for free lessons about what is music business. I will guide you. Na hata nikamwambia hapo wale walikuibia ile kampuni ilikuibia stack kutaja ni gani kwa sababu stack watoroke kwa inchi. Nitaenda kukamata wao mimi mwenyewe. Ataniona hapo na polisi. Mimi taenda hapa DCI headquarters nichukue polisi hapo niwaambie tuende tukamate mtu fulani ameibia watoto wetu. So utamsaidia bado kisha kwa. Utasaidia yeye yeah. lakini the Hiyo yote ndio msaidia. Sijasema nimewacha. I just want to clear this air yenye imewepo hapa ya kutaka kutuchafulia majina mimi na no, wacha tuanze na kwanza Mungu mheshimiwa rais Jagwa na KRG mmetuweka watu ngapi wanadamu tatu na Mwenyezi Mungu mmesema sisi tunaongea uongo pale rais yako saa hii akiona hiyo maneno inaendelea atarudi kwa nani atarudi vijana ile maneno tulipanga na nyinyi mbona umejafanya vile ilikuwa tutaenda kuwamwambia nini wewe ni ambende ndio kumwambia ni kesho kutakuwa na mtu mwingine akona shida atasema nyinyi wasanii waenda wazimu sasa kama ndio yenu si ni kweli mnataka kutuharibia maisha yetu sisi hatutakubali kuharibiwa maisha mimi hivyo ndio mnataka sasa ndio ukisikia mtu ameenda bunge amekataa mambo ya wasanii umeona vile wasanii ni very ungrateful ndio kama unasikia saa nyingine mambo ya wasanii mr kagi nasema wasanii ah wasanii wote kuna sijawi saidia na mimi nawaambia kila siku nimewasaidia sana lakini wengi wao Asante ya punda. Mbuga mnataka kujua sasa wewe moving forward uh, a watu wamejaribu kwa yako wewe mheshimiwa Jago. Jina ya rais wamechafua. Yes. Kesho kukuwa na shida, msanii mwingine aingie kwenye shida. Mm. Uko tayari kusaidia msanii tena kwenda kwa rais kudia? Unajua kusaidia ni roho. Mm. Ni calling. Unaweza kuona ule ndio alikuwa mjinga acha tusaidie hui sasa. Inategemea nitakuwa na feel na gani hiyo siku. Wewe ni leo sasa mimi pia mimi sasa mimi you will not be pushing me around the way you want. Mimi you cannot push me around the way you want. Mimi I will only look at justice. Does this person really need this help? Kwanza aongeleshe kwa sababu mimi naona ah watu tunawasaidia hata bila hatujawapatia insight. Unasaidia mtu alafu kesho anakuja kukudhalilisha. Kwa sababu ana feel entitled. My friend you need to know it's a sacrifice. People sacrifice a lot. Kwa hii nchi hakuna pesa ya bure. Hakuna kitu inatokaga mahali bure. Hii yote tunapigega mahesabu tunaona tumetengeza pesa fulani, tumepoteza fulani, ngoja tusaidie fulani na kiasi fulani. Lakini haina gaseti haina kazi, iko naye. Hata sio mimi nimekonda tu namna hii. Wewe unadhani ni stress ama ni raha niko naye? Niko na vitu inanikula kichwa left right and center. Hata mimi natamani nikae mahali nikae kama bonzo. Oh. Nikulage mahali yangu. Ninione kabisa ni shindo ta kutembea. Umeelewa? Lakini nasema nikikula hii vitu namna hii ni sawa hii wanadamu. Si wengi watapotea njia. Ndio kwa maana mimi najituma nikuje hata niongeleshe wawili watatu. Tupate maarifa. Hata saa nyingine mimi nasikia hata kukula chakula juu najitahidi kufanya kazi. Hii vijana wengine wakipata tu 1800 bonzo. Oh. Umenielewa? Si rais hii maisha. Haijai kuwa rais hakuna mtu Hakuna mtu anadhani maisha. Jeshi mnadhani maisha ni rais hizi. Maisha, maisha kan rais. We make it look easier. We make it Yeah, we just make it look easy. We don't make Yaani sisi tunapanga kazi wao unadhani ni rais. Unadhani wao unadhani hata kupanga timu yangu peke yake tu ya kumove ya wasanii. Unadhani ile kelele mimi napiga yangu kikoko kwa hiyo timu hata watu wangu wanataka kutoka kazi. Na panga kazi pako anasema hiyo mzee atatuua na pressure. Eh? Ni kazi mimi napanga. Wanaogopa paka mimi zingine hata yule manager wangu akinipiga sometimes ananiambia mzee anatetemeka namna hii. Kwa sababu mambo ni kali. Sitaki mchezo kwa kampuni zangu. Unaona hapa kama watu wanafanya mchezo. Umeona nikiingia vitu ina kaa straight. Kwa sababu hatutaki mchezo. Alafu wewe maisha yako unacheze. Hatunarudi nyumbani pinki ponki. Wewe unaenda kukaa na girlfriend kwa room mjeifungie. At hospital ni mbaya. Wewe mtapata tabu. Tabu sana. Mimi sijajaribu kuwapigia. Mimi nimeona mambo mitandaoni. Nikasema cha tudil naye mitandaoni. Kwa sababu si hata mimi wajanipigia. Mbona mimi niwapigie? Who needs who? In this situation who needs who? Ni mheshimiwa Jagwa. Ana need ya ka true. Ni rais anahitaji ka true. Who needs who? Ni mimi mwenye niko shughuli zangu. So mimi nitaklarify hawa. Wakisikia kunipigia baadaye, wananipigia simu yangu iko on. 
hii kon hii kon watu wana, wako na hizi namba zangu wakishitwa hata wanajua hata wana nanipata eh sasa tunaweza enda kwa kitu kingine hata so, usiona hata recommend alikuwa amewasaidia mwisho wa siku walisema namna gani hawakupata msaada lakini bro mtu akijinyima hata shilingi 50 shukuru ya 50 iko mtu ana iko mtu analala njaa sasa hii hakuna mtu akomsaidia na wako ni wengi lakini we cannot be everywhere at the same time si ni kweli basi sitaki kuongea sana kama radio unajua wakenya wanawasema buga na ongeaga sana mi hiyo ni talent yangu mtasikia hii sauti miaka 650 na mtu atakubali mtu yote anaongelele uongo kwa sababu mdomo yangu pia naongeaga ukweli basi yes yeah Uh, you had offered to move before. Yes. Um, Not offered I did already. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, 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 no. Me, me see, could, I don't want. You see, I am a human being. I am not Jesus. I am not a prophet. I am not an angel. I am just a businessman in Nairobi. Knowing that mambo imechemuka kwa hii town, si kila mtu akona roho ya kusaidia. Mimi niliguswa tu na hii habari niliona mitandaoni. Mimi hata nilikuwa nimekataa. Ni rafiki yangu mwingine anaitwa Kevo. Alinipigia na mke wake asubuhi. Akaanza vipi? Umeona hii maneno ya brand? Nikamwambia hiyo ni kipindi brand ako hai. Mimi nikataa ata confirm wataona hii interview. Akanipigia akaniambia bro, bwana hii kitu tusaidie hii kijana. Lakini usitaje jina yangu. Nikamwambia hii na shida. Ngoja niulize wewe nikamwambia umeona wapi hiyo news akaniambia muona SPM nikapigia huyu kidogo nikamwambia vipi ndio akaniconfirmia nikamwambia sasa mimi bro nitachangia kulipa city mochel kwa sababu usiona huyu brand chira is someone who is tiktok anajulikana mimi sijawahi kumuona nilimuona once three weeks ago nilikuwa town na rafiki yangu mwingine Nash Karanja na uzaka kamera hapo town Tu, alikuwa ameingia kwa range rover yangu tukaenda pale jamii ya mosque pale tukiwa tumekaa ndani yuko msichana mwingine anaitwa Mincha na rafiki yangu kuna waandishi wa habari walikuwa wanatafuta kutoka Uganda. So nilikuwa namueleza sehemu niko. Sasa tukizungushana hapo town kwa sababu msichana baada hajashika hii campus ya town. Ananiambia kwa street fulani fulani mimi nikapaka kwa hali nikakuwa niko ndani ya gari. Ndio yule kijana akapita mbele ya gari. Mimi nilikuwa naongea na huyu kwa si nikimwambia pale mimi niko. Nikamuona akapita. Huyu jamaa rafiki yangu akaanza si huyu yule kijana wa TikTok. Nikamwambia labda ni yeye si koshu. Lakini nikamuona kijana anatembea tembea ni kama hayuko saa. Nikamwambia na huyu kijana unaona kama ako sawa kanembe vile mimi naona hayuko sa hayuko sa na hiyo story kaisia hapo na tu kuongea maneno tena yeye akashuka kagari akaenda shughuli zake na mimi nikaenda nikazuka building the other side pale ayandem nikakutana na wale watu wangu nika exchange namba na huyu mwandishi wa habari kutoka Uganda alikuwa amekuja kunitafuta mmoja ni link nuru rafiki yangu anaitwa Mincha basi na mimi nikawatoka hapo jioni hiyo mimi nilikuwa naenda Dar es Salaam mimi nikaenda hii gari nilikuwa naendesha nilikuwa nataka kuiwacha Lavington kwa uncle yangu mwingine nikamwambia nikampigia kwa langu nikamwambia tuende tukutane love to ni kuachi gari maana yake mimi naingia naenda ndeke naingia ndeke mimi ni eh mimi niende wacha nikuachie kwa sababu nataka ikae huko kuna mambo nitakupigia uifanyie na biashara ikaisha hapo sasa mimi nikaenda kule Tanzania nikafanya shughuli zangu nimemaliza nimerudi ndio mimi nimepata na hii habari nikasema tu kwa ile niliona ule kijana ikanigusa nikasema wacha tu kwa sababu ni mtu maarufu sitoe hapa peleke pale Montezuma at least hata marafiki zake wakija kumuona kwa sababu pale sisi mmoja leo unajua mambo yake huko imechemka ni mahali ya mambo mingi hapa ni mahali ya kila kitu kifanyeka ni hapo nikasema wacha ampeleke pale lingine kidogo at least watu watapata access na familia itaweza kutuli kutulia wapange mambo mengine ndio mimi nikawafa tu nitoa hii jam na hii na hii na sanduku sasa hapo pengine kwa sababu hii paka familia ikae chini siju mseme nani ataenda siju wapi Mambo mtu hajawahi kupata msiba na nadhani ni rais. Mtu ambaye pata msiba anajua what it means kusaidiwa tu hiyo kidogo. Kwa hiyo mimi kupata sifa mingi kwa hiyo maneno wale wanatafuta sifa wacha watafute mimi nilifanya tu paka hapo na ni clarify. Ni hapa tu paka pale kwa sanduku na nilipe hii bill. Hata ile ya pale sasa wakarudi wakaniambia pale ni mbali na maana nataka kuzika ni huko kataenda KU nikamwambia hata hiyo ni sa Ambia fanya tu vile mliliwaambia chukua tu pale bili ya pale city mochari nipate bili ya hii uh, has na ya hii mochari na hiyo nikalipa na wakaingia paka pale sasa nimebakisha tu vitu ngapi mbili kulipa hiyo bili ya mochari na sanduku bali nane hapo mimi nishike biashara yangu niendelee na maisha ya biashara yangu
Si lazima waamini si si kwa kuwa, kuwaambia waamini. Mhm. Muhusika kamili ambaye nilikuwa naongea naye anajua nilifanya. Mwenyezi Mungu na mimi tunajua tulifanya. Sasa hiyo ingine, nyinyi Kenya mtasema mimi I am not in your business. Nyinyi mnajua mimi nakulanga wapi? Kuna mtu ambaye kuja kujua mimi nataka nini? Sijui mnaona tu mimi ni mwenda wazimu. Wacha na huyu mwenda wazimu afanye kazi yake. Umenielewa? Mimi sita, sitaki sympathy ya mtu. Hata mkipata mimi town tuanga mimi. Mimi tawatuanga nyinyi wote. Umenielewa? Mimi nimejipanga kivi yangu. Wewe ukipata mimi town kama uko na hasira na mimi nipige. Mimi nitakupiga zaidi. E, nimejipanga. <laughs> Hey, sa buga. Mm. Tutoke kidogo kwenye mambo ya chira, tutoke kidogo kwenye mambo ya katu na nani mm. na yeah. wanakwanga mipango ya kutangaza wa Kenya. Mm. Tuone kidogo show vizuri. Kwa Tanzania, mm. fanya tu amazing sana Tanzania sinema ikasimama ukarudi, yeah. watu kidogo ukakutana na msani wetu kidogo Otile Browni. Yeah. Watu wengi walikuwa wanajiuliza, hii trip yako ya Tanzania jamani? Yes. Kuna watu walikuwa wanasema maybe uwezi umeendea maybe bibi, kuna watu walikuwa wanasema umeendea kiwanja. Tanzania mimi nilikuwa nimeenda kwa safari. Safari yangu ilikuwa fupi yenye mafanikio mengi. Kitu ya kwanza nilipata fursa ya kupatana na rais ya Jakaya Mrisho Kikwete. Nikamwambia ile mambo nilikuwa nimemwambia. Hiyo ni siri yangu mimi na yeye na rais wetu tutam Hiyo ni ile mambo ya hiyo ni mambo ya presidential sasa hiyo mwezi pata hiyo ni za ndani hizo sasa hizo ziwa husu kitu yote kitu ya pi, ya pili nilikuwa nimeenda kumsupport ndugu yangu kaka yangu alikiba alikuwa na launch radio yake mpya na mliona tulikuwa pale kwenye sherehe yake bas watu waenda waisikilize radio iko hewani na inapatikana vizuri kabisa kwenye mitambedi ambazo ziko pale kwenye mitandao haya kitu ingine mimi nilienda pale kujumuika na mafans wangu kwa sababu nina mafans wengi sana kupitiliza sikuwa najua mimi ni mkubwa sana Tanzania mimi ni mkubwa sana Tanzania mimi ni mkubwa hata kuliko hapa Kenya for real Tanzania mimi ni boga ah boga sasa ni boga mimi mnacheza na boga <laughs> Tanzania mimi ni mkubwa sana kwa sababu mimi ni mkubwa kuliko wasanii wao wote ukiwajumuisha eh boga kwa nani boga ni mchezo wewe kwa kila kitu kwa kila kitu labda ile kitu wananishinda tu ni kuimba kama ndege hiyo mimi niliwaambia hiyo mtanishinda sana <laughs> lakini kwa kutafuta pake hii yeah. mfuko ah hata nikilala miaka kumi bado sidhani kama kuna wasanii watanifikia mimi nilala usingizi kabisa hivi 10 years niamke hiyo siku nitaamka bado hawezi pata pesa yangu hata yeye kwani ana nini yeye wewe unajua GDP wewe unajua mimi wewe unanijua au unanisikiaga if wewe unanijua unanisikiaga mimi naitwa Boga, sema Boga. <laughs> Unajua network yangu? Eh? <laughs> Chukua kalamu na kartasi my dear. Mimi ni boss kabisa. Sasa mimi nimezaliwa ni kwa boss tayari. Umeelewa? Yaani mimi nikiwa kwa tumbo ya mama pale. Niko ma billion. Umeelewa? Imebaki tu kwa yani kuamka hivi nifungue macho hivi nianza kwa boy ni mali yangu, hii ni yangu. Yaani mimi ni boss kabisa hii pesa hata sijui nitapeleka wapi ingine yani mimi naendelea tu kuongeza mali mimi nafanya kazi kwa sababu i don't these things they are there they have been there they were there before i was born and i am not even interested in selling them and they will never be sold by anyone kwa hiyo sasa sisi ni kufu na wale na mimi na control sasa mimi nikiona mnakula sana nafunga kidogo mfereji watu wanalipa mshahara hakuna mambo ya kucheza na hiyo pesa mshahara Eh unigeona wale ma watu wa kwetu wanataka kufungua ma, ma gazi na wanataka kufanya vitu ile ifai nafunga tena kidogo na watesa kidogo eh naambia mtakufa sasa nyinyi mpaka msikilize buga kwa hiyo alafu mimi nime invest sana kwa hiyo kando na muziki kwa biashara na properties watapita wapi kama hao wanataka tukuvuta gamu watapita wapi <laughs> na kuzunguka na wasichana ukipata 1000 kumi ingia disco mimi siendi disco mimi na kaka nyumba yangu na watoto mimi kitu nalipa tu ni school fees na kulipa wafanyakazi wangu mishahara hizi makampuni yote pesa nyingine mimi nasunda tu mimi nasunda mimi nasunda na kuwasaidia wale watu wajisaidii 
Nini mgeenda kufanya ile torime, mnaingia ngaya vitu mnazama torime ama dorime. Mi na dance kidogo kwa nyumba pale nikikunywa tu 1500 na zama sana takufa. Mimi na na naanza kusema sasa hivi. Unaweza tukukuliza swali kwa sababu kuna wasanii ambao Tanzania mimi tuna imani na wao kutoka from scratch. Unafanya kazi. Si mbaya. Wengine wanamiliki radio stations au magari ambayo wewe hauna. Gani? Ni vile wanakushika na followers, wanakushika na views, wameperform on tuzo. Kikazi kimziki kwa wasanii ambao tuna mimi tunaona kama labda bado hujawafikia. Asante sana. Wamimba miaka ngapi? Wamimba miaka ngapi? Hebu tuseme. Wameimba miaka ngapi? Sema tu miaka. Ehe. Ehe. Bado naweza juzi. Wameimba miaka ngapi? Bado hujanijibu. Si useme tu naamba miaka 5, miaka 10. Miaka 5, sema mfano. Tuseme miaka 5 kwenda juu. Na mimi nimeimba miaka ngapi? 3. Sasa compare nataka uruende sasa hapo na nataka compare miaka tatu yangu na miaka tano yao nani yuko juu sasa sasa nipe miaka mingine mitano kwa game uone mahali mimi nitakoa wale wale ni watoto mzee sasa hivi ni watoto wangu mimi mimi ndio sipata mimi nimeibeba kwa mgongo wangu zamani industry hii ya Kenya mimi nilalaka chini nikawaacha wasanii wote wapande kwa mgongo <laughs> nikamwambia hata mimi sitaki kuimba sitaki kujulikana hiyo time sitaki kujulikana Nikaambia nyinyi watoto ile siku nitaamka hivi niseme nataka kujulikana. Wiki moja tu Kenya mzima inanijua. Hakuna mtu Kenya anijui si ni kweli. Sasa wasubiri tu hizi views wananunua hizi zote za Kichina. Mimi niko na pesa kwa waliko wote. Unataka ninunue views wewe? Ni kuonyesha uwezo ya pesa yangu wewe. Chagua video yangu moja kesho ni kuwekea milioni kumi views. Chagua video yangu moja leo ni kuwekea milioni kumi views. Chagua moja. Sitaki hizo vitu kwa sababu ya nini? Nitakuwa najipumbaza. You cannot fool yourself. Nikutoa pesa kwa hiyo mfuko ukiweka hii ya chini. Haiwezekani. <laughs> kwa sababu you are not making money, you are wasting money to look rich. Me I am real rich. Real? Wealthy. Si hata rich, real wealthy. Na ile mambo na panga hapa mbele ndio sasa ni hatari zaidi. Sasa si chini nitakaa wapi? Kwa sababu hapa mbele sasa ndio hivi. Sasa hata sijaingia siasa, mshaanza kupanic. Na nikiingia je? Kwa sababu hii siasa mimi hata nikisimama mahali yote hata hakuna mtu anaweza nishinda. Sidhani kama hata kuna mtu anaweza nishinda hata siasa. Siasa tu kuchokora akili ya watu. Tawachokora mpaka nyi mtoroke. Na nikiingia siasa je? Mkoo kipewa fursa kuingia siasa mimi kuna kitu gani ambacho ungetamani sana uwanie? Kuna kitu ambacho Mimi hata sitaki mshahara hata nikiingia kiti siasa yote. Kiti na mimi nafanya tu wananchi kazi for free. Kiti gani mbele simama? Kiti yote tu bora ni ya siasa mimi nasimama hata ya baiskeli mimi nasimama. Ah yani mwanji chama MCA governor. Si MCA ni kidogo hiyo ni kitu kidogo sana. MCA. Governor stack hiyo ni majukumu mengi mtani pesa. Wacha nianze na hii level ya wabunge kwanza ndio muone niko serious. Nikizungumzia siasa ama tukizungumzia entertainment nchini Kenya. Lakini muziki siwezi kuacha hata nikiwa mbunge. Nita dance kabisa hapo bunge. Unafanya free concert pale pale mtu. Ah ndafanya vitu vingi. Nimeona muziki ya Kenya kwa mm. kidogo. Tumeona mm. pale kulikuwa na usanii ambaye anaingia kama Kali. Mhm. Alikuwa amepanga live na Red Cross. Na inasemekana kwamba kuna watu ambao walikuwa wanaona ulipo. Kuna mafanza ambao wengi wakupenda. Wasanii pia wengi hawakupenda. Wakaenda kuripota account ya Kali. Ni watu wavivu tu. Najua cha nikwambia Kenya imejaa watu roho mbaya sana. Mm. Na hii roho yenu mbaya ndio inawafanya mnaka kwa hizo levels ambazo nyinyi mko. Kwa sababu yani they don't believe in themselves. Watu wanaona calligraph anatia bidi, wanaona buga anatia bidi, wanaanza kusema tena watu waweze fika levels sijui za nani because they have already put their minds they will never add up to anything good more than what they have achieved. Wanaona hapo bali nimefika sasa that is the core of success. Now their only job is hope and pray they die tomorrow. Forget about that mimi usinoe kwa hizo levels mimi nitawaimbia paka na Chris Brown, nitawaimbia na Justin Bieber, nita msanii yote kwa hii dunia. Mimi nikitaka tu ni pesa yangu tu na hesabu niko na ngapi sasa hii. Okay, hii sasa hii nikitoa ule anataka ngapi? Anataka fulani. Kwa hiyo nikimpea hii anaimba hapa sasa hii kwa muziki ya boga. Lipa hiyo mtu mara moja mimi natoa budget. Kakakauza hata kama ni kuuza uza hii na uza hii na uza hii. Twende mimi tutaka dance. Wasanii kitu yenye hawana ni vision. Vision ya kuona kwamba anything under the sun is possible. You just need a budget and how to approach that person. Mimi boga. Wana jamii naongea na watu marais wangapi? Wana dhani mimi naongea na rais wangapi kwa hii kwa 
Mimi naongea na marais karibu. Alo. Mimi ni buga. Hapana kijana, mimi ni muzee. Mwili ndio kijana. Mimi naongea na marais kama East Africa hapa naongea na wote. East Africa. West Africa karibu nusu. Hmm. Wote in everything kufanya biashara hata kuimba mimi nawashinda sasa hivi eh show show hawezi ku afford sasa si ama labda si organize free show kwa sababu ya kulipa hawawezi kufika bei sasa sema unataka kubai nyumba au kubii kwa maana kwa luxurious yeah it's a good thing because mimi nime unajua sisi tumefanya biashara Tanzania muda mrefu wewe ndio hauni juu umeniona tu leo Tanzania huko tumefanya biashara tuna viwanda huko tulikuwa kona nazo zamani za watu wetu tukafunga kwa sababu ya inchi yao ilikuwa na mambo fulani fulani atukupendezwa naye kwa kibiashara basi sasa hizi mambo mama suluhu amestabilize ile inchi iko iko A1 kwa hiyo sasa ile investment tulikuwa nazo huko tunataka kuzirudisha lakini sasa round hii ndugu zangu ambao walikuwa wanazifanya hawataki kwenda huko kwa sababu walishako sana na wale watu unajua wanadamu kuna watu mimi kama mimi i am very flexible Ukinikosea leo urudi kwangu niombe msamaha kesho mimi nakusamehe tunafanya kazi tena kuna ndugu zangu wengine wakishaamua huyu sitawahi kuongea na yeye hata ukileta bilioni kumi wanasema simutaki kwa hiyo mimi niko flexible kwa sababu mimi mdogo na bado mimi niko na a long way to go mimi nimewaambia acha mimi nitajitoa mwanga niende huko we establish zile vitu tulikuwa tume establish zamani mimi bora mnijengee makao yangu pale mimi takuwa naenda hapo na bibi yangu si private jet tu ndio mtanunulia haita shida nitaongezea hata half of that amount mnui private jet mimi naingia hapa hapa ni wana watu niko pale mimi na bibi yangu na watoto tunacheza pale weekend na mimi nazunguka hapa na sumbua hawa wasanii wao na washikanisha vichwa na wapiga piga hivi kama watoto mimi naimbia hawa nafanya biashara na rais one to one to nganga inchi na kaa vizuri tunaendeleza maendeleo mpya kutoka Nairobi na kule mi napiga tena muziki yao nganga nganga hata redio mimi ndawafungulia za huko niwaambia wasikize muziki yangu for free wafanye matangazo huko wapate vijana huko pia kazi kwa hiyo mimi ni investor i am not a joker mi na, hata kuna kampuni zangu zingine nilikuwa nazitengeneza huko zingine ndahamisha ziende kule eh na zingine ziende sudan tutengeneze pesa mimi ni investor buka kumalizia tu sasa kwani mm. uh, mimi nitadaka ni kuna hiyo ofisi yako kwa hiyo unachukia za Mashabiki kidogo wanajiuliza wanaume mbona wanachumana sana kwa maneno Wanapelekeza sana kidogo muingie kwenye ring kidogo Si upange Mchelewa mimi ni buga Hii mwili wangu ni kama balloon Nikitaka ifike kilo 90 sasa hii Nanunua vitu ndio najua zile vitu za kununua Uti Lebron muuliza nani alimtrain Ni trainer wangu anaitwa Prince Arakaki mimi ndio nilimpatia nikamwambia chukua huyu mfanyange na hiyo vitu ya kubeba machumba mimi niko busy Sina muda Si wenda kwa picha zangu za 2021 nilikuwa kwa nimefanya hii ni vitu ya ujinga hii ni mimi najaza hii prayer sasa hapa hii kitu inakaa na namna hii ukitaka kwa hiyo kama unataka nipige utile brown ngumi za uso panga mwezi wa nane panga mwezi wa nane tuweke KICC mimi nitaongelesha marafiki zangu ikuwe biashara bora museme mnanilipa pesa ngapi kuchapa huyu kijana ni mchape za uso apoteze uso mimi bro mimi niko na black belt piga ngumi mimi napiga na kupiga unalala flat. Umesikia? Mimi napigaga mtu ngumi anasikia unaomba maji. Hebu za mtu wote nimewahi piga kama kuna moja. Mimi sipigo ngumi taon. Napiga kabisa unalala flat. Bora uniahidi kwamba utaenda kusema polisi ninakupiga. Alafu ukuje na kulima ngumi unaomba maji. Tena mimi nakupiga sensitive places. Nikupiga wewe kidogo ngamoa kupiga wewe naweza kukupiga mbaya sana. Kuna na yumi yako hii kidogo. Mimi naweza kukugusa pale wewe uko jo. Hapana mzee. Ochile brown alisema wewe wewe hahitaji lawyer, wewe hahitaji daktari, wewe hahitaji. Hata mimi sitaki. Nisikilize mumwambie saa hii. Au lide prince mimi napiga ngumi namna gani? Si wanatembeaga na hata saa hii anamtrain. Sijaongata na prince muda mrefu. Amuulize mimi nagusaga watu vipi? Hii kama ni ngumi unataka hii. Hii. Hii ngumi yangu hii. Nitaje tu training tena ku sharpen skills only three months tu kwa mwezi wa tatu. si tupange kitu mwezi wa nane. kwanza hii mwezi tatu. kwanza nimuletee special diet chef wangu tu ni kitu mimi naita tu hapa kaka namwambia kutoka saa hii breakfast ni lunch ni mwezi 
tatu mnikuta niko na kilo 90 na yeye nimwambie tukutane kwa 90 kg eh sasa nimwekele hii inaitwa sumagiza na yeye yeah, sumagiza huko unaja mimi nisoma Kampala Uganda huko wacha sana nikuibie siri tukiwa shule high school shule yetu ilikuwa ya watu kitu sana tulikuwa tunaendaka mpira watu tukiita tukialika watu mpira nyumbani hawakuji wanasema tuende kwao juu wanajua tukikuja kwetu hapo utakutasikia paka kuna watu wamekuwa paralyzed si watu wote watafika shule watu wengine wataishia mwa hospitalini kwa hiyo sisi tulikuwa tunaalikwa shule zingine shule ambayo ilikuwa inaogopwa sana inaitwa Mukono High School umesikia shule yetu tulikuwa tunatandika watu ngumu sasa ilikuwa ikifika dakika ya 88 na 8 85 minutes unajua shule zetu nyingi zilikuwa huko huko mixed wasichana wanaingia magari si ndio wana, wana tukishajua tumeshapiga bao tunajua hapa katano wasichana wanaingia maba mabasi ikishaingiwa basi tunabaki sasa kila mtu alikuwa anachagua mtu mwenyewe anaweza piga na unapiga mtu unawaacha umezima yani ukimupiga au simwacha anatembea jua kikukamata hivi wabaki na wewe kwa hii shule wewe ni hivyo ni hivyo yani wewe utachukuliwa hospitali kumaanisha challenge warmly accepted mi nakwambia njoo usifadhani umenona <laughs> kunaona hii mi nikitaka kunaona ni one week mi sipendi mwili mnono kwa sababu hii kitu inafanya mtu ana sweat unanuka jacho una hata ukai comfortable hii ni vitu mi nakwambia hii mwili yangu mi naijua naichezea kama remote nikitaka inone ni mwezi tatu tu na niko na vitu zinauzo pale town nafanya mi na squeeze tu hapa mi napiga tu hapa kwa ofisi nikifanya tu kazi naenda mazoezi yangu asubuhi za saba jioni asubuhi za saba jioni nikikutana nawe baada ya mwezi tatu nadhani wamenidunga sindano nyingine lakini nikikupata nikukamata ngumi wewe una hara kabisa finish wakati kile watu wengi yako na kwamba ulinyimo kolabo na nani mimi sijaitaka kuimba kibongo mimi naimbaje na mbongo ambayo kwa Nairobi mimi naenda kuimba na mbongo original huyu ni mbongo gani fake mtu mjaluo alikuwa anaongea kijaluo tu juzi saa hii anaongea akaenda kimijikenda kidogo ameingia sasa amekuwa muamerika ujasikia juzi alikuwa anaongea wonge wonge wewe unaongea wonge na hakuna kitu wewe uko naye wonge hen sanga wewe marekani umeenda kwa mtu mzima wewe unajua mimi naona marekani nilikuwa na miaka ngapi watoto unaona naim mimi mako na naim mako na miaka zingi miaka ngapi sahihi sahihi 6 years naim alenda europe akiwa na 4 months naim europe nimempeleka kila pale Naim ule mtoto wangu mdogo ule dokta Naim amesonga Europe zamani huko mimi nilikuwa naenda kupeleka ma girlfriend naenda kununua handbag nini nini huko fanya akili mzee mimi ni mzee wa hekma wao nadhani mimi ni kijana eh wao naona imani yote mimi niko na Nairobi hii nilipatwa na mtu tu for free ile office chukua nilipanga kazi bwa wanafao wewe hata wewe hata mavi yako bado hajafika ngara tangu na inaenda ruai alafu unakuja kusumbua sisi eh? sisi ni maveteran maveteran sema veteran veteran eh sio wivu sio kitu ah uh-uh. ah wewe ukitaka pita baadhi yote utakuta tu buga anaongelelewa hapo eh sawa mzee tumeshukuru sana kuzungumza na nadhani kwa mashabiki wangu hii vitu mkatakate msishikanishe hii vitu ya rais na hii vitu ya ujinga ya ya muziki tafadhali eh sawa sawa mzee mimi nimeshukuru kwa kunitembelea mimi naona simu zimekuwa nyingi sana. Hapo unaona kazi hapa mtafanya sasa mimi nipoteze hela. Hapo pesa itapotea sasa. Wacha mimi niingie kazi yangu. Niko na wateja wako hapa nje, iko bandi zangu wanatafuta hapa, iko iko kazi mingi. Shukran sana kwa kuja. Asante sana. Okay.